Right guys, so today we're reviewing the set of Target Darts and yes, it's straight off the production line and off the recent launch, it is the Dimitri Vandenberg 23 gram steel duck. These are the Gen 2s. Obviously, he had the Gen 1s just recently out, but unfortunately they weren't thrown well for him, him at all and it wasn't right for his throw. So Target was straight on to it, made up a wee prototype, he'd been doing absolutely fantastic on the wee tours. So they decided to release them and they released them today. So make sure you check out Target Darts website and thank you to Target Darts for sending these out to me to review on their behalf. As you can see, that's the darts there. So without waiting any further guys, let's check out the packaging, check out the darts and have a few throws to the board. Okay, having a look at the packaging. This has got the Dream Maker, his nickname there. Nice graphic image of the full setup. It's got the sand, small stems, the pro grips and his flights. Picture of man himself, target logo there, 23 gram steel tip. Again, these are the Generation 2 90% tungsten. On the back, image of the flight, it's just a close up look of the, the point, the part, part section of the barrel itself. What's in the box? You get three Dimitri Vandenberg G2 barrels, three Pro Grip shafts, three Pro Ultra flights. Three Swiss DX 26mm silver points and one Swiss point tool. Picture of the man himself, just about the Ultra Flights target logo. And don't forget, you've got the lifetime guarantee with these barrels. It's only a couple of brands that actually do this, and it's good to see that Target does this as well. So, what we'll do is open this up. So there you go. Fully set up, we've got the flights and that there, we've got the Swiss point key there, a little flyer on the back and it should have printed on it, yep, 23 grams, so they've weighed these and that's what they measure out it. Again, lifetime guarantee. So what we'll do is we'll have a closer look at the, the barrel itself. Okay, having a closer look at the dart, you see it's got that crisscross on the, the DX point here and a couple of ridges there. Got a slight rounded nose. This usually is like a band that he previously had in barrels. Uh, you know which ones. But now he's got this micro ring cut section to it. And a slight little band. And then goes into this twin ring cut section. Just all the way up here. And unfortunately, unfortunately, you've got another band section here with a target that logo on it. I'll say unfortunately, and you'll see why in a second. And then you've got a couple of radio groove cuts just at the back there. And then it goes into that short pro grip sand coloured stems and the Dream Maker flight. So you see it target that logo there and uh, his nickname, the Dream Maker. Obviously, he's coloured his flag black there, sandblast there, or sand coloured there. Again, really nice indeed. So the length of these is 48.9 millimetres and the width is 6.4 millimetres. These also do come in 21 grams and 25 grams. Not too sure if there's any soft tip. There may be soft tips out there. So you soft tip guys, please do check it out. They may have soft tips. I'm not 100% sure. So just going over the grip. Front grippers, you have different grip in this section here because of that micro ring cut. So if you're holding this section, you have different grip. Twin ring is very comfortable, very grippy as well. At the rear section, due to that band, and this is why I said unfortunately, it's not gave that as much of a grip as I would like to have seen. Maybe if they're putting this band on, maybe put that micro ring cut just on this section just to help us rear grippers out. But... I'm sure I can hold that section there with my thumb and I'm pushing it forward. I might even try holding the middle section there as well. But I give this front section here a three, the back a two and a half, just due to that band section. But there is plenty of grip on this. So, yeah, really nice looking dart. Right, guys, so what we'll do, we'll have 90 12 throw with these, uh, see how we get on with them. And if I keep playing really well with them, I just might throw some more, but anyway, game on. <laughs> 60, I'm trying to get you used to feel of that weight of the barrel, 
I'm used to 24 of these, are 23 plus with short stems. Um, but yeah, good grip to these. They are gripping at the back. Yeah, I thought it'd be a little bit slippage there, but they seem to be releasing really well. Good balance as well. Uh, look nice in the board. Let's keep going. Oh, 41, hot off that flight. Good last start, 70. Right, I think I'm going to change it slightly. And what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to put the, the, the setup that I have with my darts onto these and see how they throw away the setup that I use. Because let's face it, we'll do the same thing. So let me just change these. And just like that, I've got them all set up. So that's my back end setup, it's Cosmo stuff that I use. But that's what I use in my darts, so I'll just put them on these and see if there's any difference. Game on. One hundred and forty. Feels much better because it's my. I'm used to that back end section, uh, the plates and stems. I feel really comfortable, and the balance is much better because this is the, the setup that I'm used to. Ah, oh. oh, I try to go up more, but 45. Not as 85. I thought it was just two 20s. Never mind. Better than 45. Try that. Oh, not quite 80. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Let's do a little silly. Okay, so the target darts Dimitri Vandenberg, Gen 2, 23 grams steel tip. What can I say? Great darts. Probably better than these Gen 1s. Unfortunately, I don't know about the Gen 1s. I haven't tried them. Uh, I did get them sent out, but they got lost in the post. I, I take it Royal Mail must have liked them better than me. But yeah, the, nice straight barrel. The cuts on these is perfect. I did think I was going to have an issue with that band at the back because being a rear gripper, that affects a rear gripper. But that twin ring cut there managed to keep a grip for me. Maybe in future, if you're going to put a band there, put that micro cut eh, in amongst it, just to help us rear grippers out. But good, clean, straight barrel, good, simple cuts to this dart, nicely well balanced, and it was great. The only thing I would change, obviously, is the back end. I wouldn't use that, also. I put, I mean, you, you do the same, you pick your own preference on it, and that's what I did. And I would change them from 26 to 36 mils because that's what I'm used to throwing. And changing them, it takes a matter of like a minute to change them using that Swiss point. And don't forget about the bonus guys, the lifetime guarantee. So anything goes wrong with your darts, you've got that lifetime guarantee. Do register them though on Target Darts website. Now the fun part, the price. These are forty eight ninety five, which is cheap in my eyes. Just below the average price for a set of darts these days. And the being these Gen 2, um, obviously these Gen 1s were a little bit pricier. But these were well, just perfect in it. Forty eight ninety five. I can't really see nothing wrong with that. That's a good price for a set of darts. So let me know your thoughts, guys. What you think of these darts? And uh, just leave a little comment below. And obviously, I do read them all. Me just put like, a little heart thing, but I do read them all. And I like to get your opinions on these as well. 
I'd also like to thank uh, Target Darts for sending these out to me to review on their behalf. So thank you to Target Darts. And that's it for me, guys. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Turn notifications for any new reviews and live streams. And I'll catch you in the next one. Happy darting, guys. Bye.